hey guys so i am back with another video and today i am going to be doing an unboxing um i was actually really really excited about this package this from a site called Prisir. the only thing i did was um cut open the bag um so <clears throat> that'll save a little bit of time on camera but that's the only thing that i've done so far but it's from a site called Prisir, um and i ordered a few things from there it's like another one of those kind of asian sites where you can get like stuff really really cheap um i will make sure that i link everything that i show you guys in the video down in the description box as well as how much they cost if i don't remember off the top of my head so i ordered about five or six things four to six things i don't remember quite it's been a while um but i just picked up the package from my peel box so i'm gonna go through and we are gonna see what's in here the site has a bunch of things it has clothes it has shoes it has jewelry it has like house stuff i think but i just ordered makeup skincare based things um let's get into the video okay so i'm going to be opening them i love the way it's packaged as simple as it is it is like bubble wrapped to a t um i'm gonna need morphe to take notes because i would like at least one of my panels to arrive not broken just i'm just saying just bubble wrap everything and they, they bubble wrap things that probably didn't even really need to be bubble wrapped but it's bubble wrap so yeah so we're gonna start with this one it's right on top um and i have my scissors handy and let's see what this is because honestly i vaguely remember what i ordered um um, it is like this little kabuki kind of brush. Seems like it would be good for foundation, synthetic, very soft. Um, I think this was literally like a dollar. Um, but it looks like this. Um, and I would say it looks like how it looks on the site. Definitely soft. I definitely pictured it would be this small. Um, I think it would be great for buffing and foundation. Um, so this is, you know, another brush to add to the brush collection that I have. Next is this thing, which I was kind of excited about. It is the, it's not in English, which is kind of annoying. It is the Volcano Mud. It's it's supposed to be one of those like peel masks. It's a blackhead mask. So I believe what it looked like on the site was that it was like one of those black charcoal peel masks. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like um yeah so i'm definitely let me know if you guys want to see me do this on camera i believe it's one of those like you know those painful black peel masks everybody was doing um let me know i will do it um but it looks like how it um the packaging is a little different but if it's the same thing then we're good to go way next is oh this is a brush set as if i need another brush set but you know your girl love makeup brush so how about we do that so they look like this y'all know i love makeup brushes i can never have too many brushes which are some of my favorite kind of brushes um so there's a brush that looks like this it's actually pretty soft not as soft as some of my other synthetic brushes but it's pretty it's pretty decent um, and it's kind of like a coppery rose, not rose gold, I guess kind of rose gold. Actually, it's more like a copper to me. Copper, and it has like some grooves and stuff in it for you to hold the brush here. Um, like that, almost like a pencil. Um, it has like little grooves all around on each brush. So there's this brush, which is kind of like a powder brush, but I feel like it's it was shaped a little i feel like it's more of like a contour kind of brush and then we have this other um flat synthetic brush <clears throat> this is more of a powder brush i'm gonna have to like reshape these a little bit because they're kind of like all <laughs> bent <it> from 
packaging but this is like a powder brush they're kind of very thin like this is the powder brush but it's very very thin i feel like these are more like contour bronzer kind of brushes because they're not like really like packed um next is a foundation brush a typical pointed foundation brush nothing special about foundation brushes um and then we have this angled blush brush at least that's what i use brushes like these for is for blush they are they are decently soft i'm not gonna lie they're they're decently soft i feel like this is more of a face brush set you know what i mean um i'm gonna have to reshape these like look at this girl so funny and then we have an angled brush um this is a little too thick for me to do much with like it's pretty thick i wouldn't use i probably the only thing is maybe to clean up my brows or to do my brows it's a little thick though i definitely couldn't do a liner with it <clears throat> and then we have kind of like a concealer looking brush so like i said i'll put the prices either on the screen or down in the description box um they don't feel like high quality honestly they feel like not cheapy but just you know not really like high quality like some of my other brushes like even my royal atlantical brushes um they feel a little bit more like sturdy um these feel like decent these feel like i don't know walmart brushes i guess um not bad not you know amazing like good for what they are and they're synthetic um so usually these brushes i usually you can't go wrong with synthetic brushes i'll say that um as far as like shedding you're not going to get too much shedding with synthetic brushes um they aren't very packed though especially this brush some of these other brushes don't really need to be that packed but this powder brush this maybe this is more like for bronzer or something but i'm definitely going to go in and like wash them before i use them um plus that'll help me reshape them um <clears throat> so moving on another brush set look at me another brush set definitely looks like how it looks on can't on the site so that's those let's open these up yeah they're very thin but it has kind of like this mermaid kind of transition of color here um so it has like a fan brush I'm gonna quickly go through the brushes because they're not that important. Kind of like this pointed um, powder brush. This is great, probably getting under the eye. Um, they feel like the quality feels the same as the other ones as far as like how heavy they are. Oh, this is interesting. Interesting. Oh, shit. It's kind of like a flat brush. That's interesting. I don't think I have a brush that looks like this. It's kind of like a flat. I don't know, brush, like a shader, packer kind of brush. Um, this is kind of like a flat, this looks like another flat kind of powder brush or highlighter brush. I feel like there's duplicates. Okay. So this looks just like the other brush. This is another flat angled brush. Yeah, they aren't like the best quality because you can kind of see like, you can't really, like kind of where the ferrules are. I feel like they're not really like smoothly connected, but not too bad. Like. I'm very delicate with brushes, so I'm usually not worried about whether they're high quality or not because I take care of everything as if they're high quality. So I usually don't have a problem. And this is another angle brush, but it's a little just more curved. Then we have this small detail brush, which I, mm, which I actually really like. It's very small. I feel like it would be great for cutting the crease for like small lids or packing on color for like small like hooded lids like mine okay and then there is a smaller angled brush which this would be a decent size for my brows i can think i can get away with using that then we have another oh this is an interesting brush it's kind of like a flat it's flat up here um 
I usually use, I have brushes like these that are a little bit bigger. I kind of use it to spot conceal. And then, ooh, ooh, I like this blending brush. This is actually nice. It's like a blending brush. I actually like it. It's very, very, um, very soft, very fluffy. I like this. And then we kind of have like this kind of standard crease brush. It's like that. And then lastly, we have another kind of concealer or kind of shader brush. This looks like a good brush to cut the crease too. It's pretty thin. Um, I feel like this set is more eye-based. Like these have a lot more, there aren't many face brushes in here really except for this fan brush, except for like these two. Um, and then the rest of these are like eye brushes. So actually, like with these two combined, pretty decent set. Like I said, the ferrules, they feel kind of, I don't wanna say like aluminum-ish. I feel like they're aluminum-ish. They're not like, they're not plastic, but they're definitely not metal or wood. They feel like aluminum to me. Um, but I feel like a bond actually a pretty decent set because these are like all face brushes plus these two, right? So you have, these are all face kind of brushes here and then these are all eye brushes. So actually, I made a good selection there. Not bad. Um, and like I said, I'll list the prices down below. Honestly, this stuff is like ridiculously inexpensive. So first of all, if I got it, then you know it's definitely inexpensive. Um, oh, and this is the last item. I think this is an eyeshadow palette. Mm, let's see. Eyeshadow palette. This is called Twilight Dusk Palette. You can be. Let me see if you guys can see that. Let me take it out of the packaging. Let's hope and pray that none of the eyeshadows arrived broken in dusk. Like, whatever. So this is the palette. Ooh. So pretty. I'm gonna swatch some. They're definitely. So I just swatched one, two, three. Um, right there. They definitely aren't super pigmented. I feel like you can layer them. Let me let me do another layer of the gold. They do feel like really smooth though. When you dip your finger in. So I feel like you can get some good payoff. That's actually not bad. Um, let's try some of the mattes. Ooh, actually, let me try this one. <laughs> Caught my eye. This is like such a Renault color. It's called Desert Sand. This one right there. Let me try that one. I'm not going to swatch all of them. That's it. Let's see. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. I definitely think these are like... You're gonna have to pack it on more than once. Like it's not gonna be. And I think this pal was only like seven or eight bucks. Let me let me try some of the the mats. Um, I'm gonna try these three down here at the bottom. I'm gonna try blazing saffron Turkish delight. I feel like these are like kind of transition kind of shades. And there is a black in here. The black looks a little ashy in the pot. So actually, let's do that one first. Let me see. Mm, came off pretty good. Oh, not not bad. Actually, that, the matte felt better than the, the shimmers. Let me see what it says on the back. It says there are eight buttery mattes. Okay, yeah, they're buttery. Six pressed pearls. Three dual chrome toppers and one glitter. Okay, so I see. First, right? So let me try blazing, which is the one here on the end. Yeah, the mats are nice. The mats are really nice, actually. You guys aren't gonna be able to see that one because that's kind of like a little bit of like my complexion. I'm gonna try saffron, which is the next one. And let's do that one. Yeah, these mats. Oh yeah, these masks are bomb. These, these masks are bomb. Wait a minute. And let me try Turkish Delight because I feel like I would really like that shade. 
should I turn this off? Oh, oh, oh god, did you see that? Did you see that? I definitely think it'll have some fallout. But did you see that? <sighs> definitely think it'll have some fallout. Um, just by the way that I'm let me try and see if I can hold it close. Um when I swatch you can kind of see. Um you'll definitely get a little bit of fallout, but I do my foundation last anyway, so but yeah, this is nice. It's Turkish delight. Oh I like that. I'm excited. Um I feel like this reminds me of like I know like the hue of beauty is totally different like the I don't know but like when I saw it online like that's what I thought of I thought of the Huda, Huda Beauty one which I'll, I'll I'll link it here so you guys can kind of see the vision that I like when I saw it online I was like oh this kind of looks like the Huda Beauty one let's see okay real quick guys I just wanted to mention so I went on the Huda Beauty website and I looked at their palette and the shade names are the exact same as the ones in this palette. The exact same, the exact same spot. So either this palette was a dupe of the Huda Beauty one, or maybe this was like the starting point for the Huda Beauty one, and then they just swapped out colors here and there um, from this China brand one. Um, so I'll definitely do a video using this palette, but the shades are, some of the shades are different between the palettes. But nonetheless, same concept. I'm, I'm, I think I'm low key gonna like this palette. So definitely um, leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to do a tutorial using this this palette. I would definitely do that. I may do like a little series. Maybe I'll do a little series. What do you guys think? Using this palette, cause I'm, I'm excited about this. <laughs> Out of everything, I think I'm excited about this the most. Um, so yeah, so that's everything that I bought from Persier. Like I said, I will leave the links down below of where you can find um, all of these items as well as um, the pricing and the site and all that kind of stuff. I will have that linked down below. So definitely check it out. Um, I don't know, this eyeshadow palette kind of sold me on the site. So I might be back on there looking for some other palettes because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was no more than like $12 at most, I think. So I'm definitely gonna go back and check out and see if I can find a couple more of these. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely, I am gonna be doing a Black Friday haul of some things that I ordered during like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, like that weekend type of flow, but I'm just waiting for everything to come. Um, I'm waiting on, a few packages so, um, I'll definitely be doing a Black Friday haul once everything that I ordered comes hopefully everything comes by the end of the first week of December um, because some things I guess are taking a little bit longer because I guess these companies obviously forgot that it was Black Friday and like everybody was gonna be ordering so they weren't prepared to get our stuff out on time but nonetheless, I'm going to be waiting um, for that stuff to come. Um, but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoy like haul videos like this one. Let me know if you want to see me use any of these items in an upcoming video. I would definitely try to have that out for you guys um, and work on those. Um, any of your requests that you want, um, put them down in the description box. Um, and all that kind of stuff of any type of videos that you guys want to see I will be back to done. this is my protective style season so that's why you guys obviously one can't see my hair it's just braided back um, and I just put my turban on so I do protective style in the winter so I literally do not wear my hair out um, between I want to say October till about April um, and maybe even a little bit longer if it's still really cold in April um, so I usually don't wear my hair out. I don't do anything to my hair. I usually either put in my braids or wear a wig, which I haven't in a while, or I wear my ponytail from Better Length um, and things like that. I don't wear my hair out. You guys know that. This is this is nothing new around this season. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you do. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. If you are a OG subscriber, thank you for still being subscribed. I appreciate you. I know I've been kind of up and down of 
with 2018, but my 2018 has been up and down, just like the end of my year in 2017. Um, I do want to post more, but <clears throat> I mean, it kind of is what it is. So when you guys, so just stay subscribed, turn your notifications on so that you guys know when I do upload. Um, I am trying to upload once a week. Sometimes I miss a week or two or three, but if you keep your notifications on, then you would definitely be the first one to know when I post, especially if I go on a little hiatus here and there. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for in, stopping in and checking out my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.